Right then, it's bunker time. Access to the bunker has been restored. They sealed it up a couple of years ago because there were lots of people going into it, but the old nuclear bunker, you now get in because someone's put a ladder in the air vent. I saw the air vent was open, but I wouldn't have been able to get in without a ladder, but someone has gone there, some very kind person. I don't know who they are, but whoever it is, thank you for doing this. And they've put a ladder in the air vent of the bunker, meaning I can now get down there. So it's bunker time. So then, a bit of history about the bunker I'm going to. There's many of these bunkers over Medway, but this is the only one that's actually accessible nowadays. There's several of them. A lot of them are actually underneath buildings, like old council offices and stuff. Now, I haven't actually managed to get into these ones, but this particular one, which is the Southern Water Bunker, this one was accessible for a very long time, so they've blocked it off. And this is one of the bunkers they would have used in the Cold War if the nuclear bombs ever dropped. I'm really excited to get to this bunker. I've not been in this bunker for a few years since it's blocked up, so I'm really keen to get there. Right then, not far now to the bunker. It's a boiling hot day. I'll be very glad to get in this bunker. This bunker's going to be freezing cold. This bunkers are always cold, but the weather is so hot today. And it's just up there. You can actually almost see it yet. There is just up there. There is bunker. You would not think it as a bunker, which is precisely the idea. Bunker's not exactly going to be visible. It's not hidden and secret. There's the only one out in the countryside. All the other ones are like in the town, like underneath buildings and all inaccessible. But I don't know why this one's like in the middle of nowhere. Well, I assume if it's a town or nuked, but the idea is a bunker's meant to survive a nuke, so I don't know. So, here is the bunker. So then, the bunker awaits. Let's hope the way in is still open. Because if urbex places, in my experience, it can be potluck whether they're still accessible or not. So, this used to be a way in. This is the main way in. They've sealed it up. They welded it shut to stop people getting inside it. Very welded shut. There's no way we're going to get open. There's no way we're going to get that open. It's properly welded. That's where the fuse box used to be. Fuse box is now down there. But, there's another way in. So, up on top of the bunker, let's check out the fire exit first before we do anything else and see if the fire exit's open. And the fire exit, yeah, it's still sealed shut like last time. Fire exit, properly welded. That's not going to open. Look, they've welded it and that is boiling. You could cook something like that. That is so hot at the moment. Main exit's welded shut, fire exit's welded shut, but there is the air vent. Two air vents. Those air vents there, they're just sealed. But this air vent is open. It's open last time, but some very kind person. Is it still here? Yes, the ladder. Ah, the way in. Right, it's bunker time. And by the way, get this bunker is harder than it looks. Oh. Yes, finally. So, into the bunker. And I'm in this, it echoes a lot in here. That's the original way in, that is welded shut. And let's go down to the bunker itself. All this rubbish was not here last time. We've got his door, that's new. Now we come to this big, that is thick, solid metal. That's not like, look how big my hand is compared to that door. That's just a massive door. That's the way we came in, very creepy. Light switch, obviously that does not work. And we come into the entrance way room. Creepy. And let's now open this door. And look at our big, big, solid door in case the nuclear blast ever happened. And opened. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, that's big, heavy door. And then we come to this room. Oh, water tank. Got electrics up there. Got weather foes are down there. Someone's come in here to do stuff. And in here is air conditioning pipes by the for that. I go out to the other air shaft. That must be the field to the air coming in. Because if there's nuclear attack outside, you don't want to just let in fresh air from outside. Everything has to be decontaminated. So out back to the entranceway. And now we go through this big heavy door. Heavy door. These doors aren't really heavy. Look at those bolts to lock them shut. That is massive. Come through to another room where there's another door. They're going all out to make sure this place was safe if a nuclear blast ever happened. So I've already gone through three doors. So let's open this one. 
big door. No, no, not quite as big, slightly smaller. And in we go to the main part of the bunker itself. There's fuses, that's a later fuse box by the look of that. And there's the main corridor. Let's look in for rooms. In this room is electrics, a generator room. Is that a generator in there? I actually do not know. That's red. Why is that water on the ground red? It's blood. And in here we have the air vent. So come out of this generator room and let's take a look. That's the way we can. Let's take a look in this room. That wasn't there last time. Someone's been painting. This is a bedroom for one of the staff that would have worked here. Well, probably more than one. Probably several people would have slept in there. Here's another bedroom. That really scares me. The echo's here. It may sound like someone else is in here. Echo! Those are new. That is weird. That wasn't like that last time. Were anything you think bunker into use or something? Here, yeah, another bedroom. And that's it. I think that's a toilet room because you've got water, that's a bathroom. And in here, another bedroom. Probably would have had, I don't know how many bunk beds you could fit in here, but you'd have a lot of workers in there. Big brother is watching you. Creepy eyes. Have you lived today? Big brother's watching you. The devil is here. Oh, scary. So come into this room, the main operations room. Hmm, new electrics again, that's very odd. I keep thinking I hear footsteps, so it's not as my footsteps echoing, it's so creepy. <laughs> so this is the room, there was actually a fire vacation here, but it's gone. This is the fire exit, see, big heavy blast door, big locks, and that's the fire exit, which is obviously now welded shut, that's where it looked at earlier. So these doors, I can't get over these doors. I filled with concrete. I was wrong, and not metal throughout. It's metal on the outside and concrete inside. Wow, nothing's going to get through those doors. Trust me, those doors are big. Have you lived today? Creepy bunker. The only thing I don't like about bunker is it's empty. So make sure you check out my video for fully stocked bunker in Lithuania, which is an old Soviet bunker which is left pristine with everything intact. That place was really amazing, but this place is still very amazing as well. Oh, this place is really creepy. Let's take a look at this. What is these electrics? Hmm. Old electrics. Oh. So, one of the best things to do here is to listen to Echo when he slam a door. Listen to this. Oh, that sounds like I'm in World War II and the bomb's just dropped. So let's do it from the other side so we can hear the echo up this long corridor when I slam this door. That sound is so good. Oh, this corridor is so creepy. So then, let's get out of the bunker. Let's lock up. Although this door wasn't locked to start with, I don't think. Let's try. Actually, let's try slamming these big doors. See how much echo you get if you slam this. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, that sounds good. Doors locked. Now let's lock up this door for bunker into the generator room or the no air contamination room. Right. Door closing. Is that locked? Oh. And this door can't be locked because it's got loads of stuff behind it. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Medway bunker, one of my all-time favourite places in Medway. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favourite bunkers. It's so awesome down here. I should only want to leave this bunker. It's nice and cool down there. Out here is boiling hot. Oh, it's absolutely boiling. That's the end of this video, but make sure you stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more videos. Yeah. <laughs>